Hey, good morning, Duck fans, Scoop Duck fans, whichever one you are, hopefully both, definitely, hopefully the latter. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, back at you, another quick update, another quick recap of Scoop Duck Daily. Biggest news I think to talk about currently is obviously the departure of Cole Martin uh, from the program. You know, just it raises a lot of headlines, obviously, because he's the coach's son. Um, I know that that's the big talk. Um, I think Cole Martin was was good in his first year and his freshman year. I think, you know, there, there's definitely a player there. Um, you know, is he a future first rounder? I, I think we're a, a ways off from projecting that. I'm not picking on him. He definitely could be. But, I mean, this is certainly probably the most surprising, you know, transfer for Oregon so far. I understand why fans, you know, are asking questions about it. Look, this doesn't have anything to do with Coach Meat. okay? Coach Meat is a, is a coach. You know, he, he coaches at Oregon. That's his job. Okay. Outside of that, he's a dad and, and his son, Cole Martin plays football. Okay. His, his son could play football at Oregon. It could be at another school. That's for them to decide. Okay. I'm sure as a family, you know, they sat down and decided whether they enjoyed being coached by dad or, you know, maybe the city of Eugene wasn't exactly for Cole. I mean, these are two completely different situations. All right. Does it just because Cole leaves, doesn't mean Coach Meat is leaving. So I think folks really need to kind of think about that. I mean, if, if your you know son or daughter or whatever went off, went off to college and you were teaching at that college or coaching at that college, you know, you two would make two independent decisions of each other. Okay, you wouldn't just stay there because your child's there. They just wouldn't stay there because you weren't there. So I understand why folks are are looking at this and asking questions. I get it. Totally get it. I just think we need to pump the brakes a little bit. Could be a number of things. Cole Martin decided to go play his college ball elsewhere. I know that most of us have faith in Dan Lanning to move forward and continue with this. And again, Coach Martin, Demetrius Martin, is going to make a decision on his career independently. And I this doesn't this isn't a foreshadowing that he's leaving Oregon by any means. So uh, next up that I'll talk about briefly, Bo Nix uh, going to play in the Reese's Senior Bowl that was just announced this morning, a couple hours from recording this. So, you know, kind of cool to see him out there and participate, get a chance to play in front of a lot of NFL scouts, maybe up his stock. Uh, I do recall that Cam Ward is also obviously Cam Ward's not going to play college ball declared for the NFL draft. He'll be playing in the game as well. So going to be some good quarterback quarterback play going to be some good players there um it'll be exciting to see him once again uh so far there's been a lot of talk or a little bit of talk about the all-american games that are currently going on oregon has six signees in each game the under armor all-american game and the all-american bowl they are two different games one in orlando one in san antonio uh today will be the under armor game streamed on espn so i won't talk about that much because we're you're going to be watching the game a um, couple of the guys that I've seen pop up there, Jeremiah McClellan, Aiden Breeland, a couple of the names I recall seeing from, from different reports. Uh, so far at the All-American game, All-American Bowl, excuse me, very confusing, in San Antonio, they just had practice for the first time yesterday, getting back at it again today. Um, from those first early practices, this game's not till Saturday, uh, Gatlin Bear, the wide receiver that Oregon's uh, currently uh, recruiting, excuse me, has uh, shown a lot. I've seen him pop up in a lot of reports, as has safety signee Aaron Flowers. Seen his name at or near the top of a lot of list of top performers uh, from practices so far. So that's great news. A lot of Javon Holland in his game, and that's uh, that's something Oregon could use in that secondary. So uh, for now, that's the Scoop Duck Daily for today, and uh, quite possibly I'll be back tomorrow, if not the next day.